Hello, lovely students, and welcome back to English with Lucy. Today, I am as keen as mustard, as keen as mustard. And if you don't understand that, watch the video because I will explain it. Today, we are going to be talking about some very British phrases, and in particular, we're going to be talking about similes. A simile is simply a comparison between two things. We use the words. Like or as to make these comparisons, it can be used similarly to an adjective or an adverb. It's a really, really interesting language concept, and native speakers use them all the time. And they're almost like idioms. It's really hard to understand what they mean. Native speakers will use similes like "as fresh as a daisy" or "as bald as a coot" without even knowing that they're using similes. And people who are learning English find them quite hard to understand. But don't worry. In today's lesson, I am going to teach you twenty-five of the most common British similes, and it's going to be fun. A lot of them are lots of fun. As always, there is a free PDF that goes with today's video. It covers everything we're going to learn today, all twenty-five similes and their examples and explanations. And some exercise questions, so you can test your understanding and put what you've learnt. Into practice. If you would like to download that free PDF, just click on the link in the description box. You enter your name and your email address. You sign up to my mailing list, and the PDF will arrive directly in your inbox. And then every week after that, you will automatically receive my free lesson PDFs alongside my news, my updates, and my course offers. It's a free service, and you can unsubscribe at any time. Before I start showing you all of these similes, let's take a quick look at how they work. Look at this sentence: My dog is slow. Maybe it's an old dog. Maybe it just likes to walk slowly. My dog is slow. This sentence is just a little bit bland and boring. It lacks spice. A simile is the perfect ingredient to make this sentence a little bit tastier, a little bit more interesting. How about My dog is as slow as a snail. My dog is as slow as a snail. You'll often find this format with similes, as adverb or adjective, as an object or something, as slow as a snail, as big as a house. Similes are amazing for improving your writing and for making your conversations more interesting. Let's take a look at twenty-five similes that you can use now that are really common in British English. Firstly, we're going to talk about similes related to the topic of food. I've got four. The first one is as cool as a cucumber, as cool as a cucumber. And if someone is as cool as a cucumber, then they are very calm and relaxed. She never reacts to stressful situations. She's always as cool as a cucumber. The second one we have is as flat as a pancake. As flat as a pancake, you know pancakes. They're like crepes, very, very flat foods. It's used to describe something that is completely and totally flat. I built a beautiful sandcastle, but a wave came, and now it's as flat as a pancake. It's really flat. Number three is as cold as ice. As cold as ice. Do you recognise it from that song? You're as cold as ice. <laughs> it is used to describe someone who is. Very disinterested, very cold with you. Bob can be as cold as ice sometimes. It seems that he never smiles. And number four, one of my favourites, is as keen as mustard. As keen as mustard. And if you are keen, then you are enthusiastic. If you're as keen as mustard, you're very enthusiastic and excited. Like me in this video, I'm as keen as mustard. I'm ready to teach you similes. <laughs> An example: Our new receptionist is as keen as mustard. I saw her watering all of the plastic office plants the other day. <laughs> That is sort of a true story. I was once having a haircut, and they had this new apprentice, and for about a week she was watering all of the plastic, fake plants. She thought she was being helpful. She was so enthusiastic and sweet. You could say she was as sweet as honey, which means very sweet as well. Let's move on to animals. I've got quite a few similes relating to animals. Number five is as blind as a bat. As blind as a bat. We use this very frequently to talk about poor eyesight. 
It's used to describe someone or something that has poor vision. And obviously you've got to be sensitive with this one. We usually use it to talk about older animals. Be careful when you play with my old dog. She's as blind as a bat, meaning she doesn't see very well. Number six, another one that could be offensive, so be careful, as bald as a coot. As bald as a coot. This means that you have no hair, you're very bald. Uh, and a coot is a type of bird that I imagine has very little hair as well. Birds don't have hair. Very few feathers on its head. <laughs> An example, I used to have a fantastic mop of hair, but now I'm as bald as a coot. A mop is that collection of rags on a stick that we use to clean a floor, uh, but sometimes we will describe a lot of hair as a mop of hair. Number seven is buzzing like a mosquito. Buzzing like a mosquito. This is used to describe someone who is talking a lot and might be quite annoying, like <laughs> You know what mosquitoes are like. An example, did you speak with Maria at the party? She was buzzing like a mosquito. I couldn't get two words in. And if you say, I can't get two words in, or I couldn't get two words in, it means you were not able to speak because someone else was speaking over you. They were interrupting you. I tried to talk to my boss, but I couldn't get two words in. He wouldn't stop talking. Number eight, I warn you, this one is so cute. It is as happy as a dog with two tails. As happy as a dog with two tails. If one tail is this much happiness, can you imagine two? <laughs> Naturally, this is used to describe someone who is very, very happy. When she won the lottery, she was as happy as a dog with two tails. And number nine, our last animal simile is as wise as an owl, as wise as an owl. I don't know if it's the same where you come from, but owls in the UK and in America have the reputation of being very wise and intelligent. So if someone is as wise as an owl, it means they are very intellectual, they've got good judgment, they're very intelligent. An example, my granddad always gave the greatest advice. He truly was as wise as an owl. Next topic, we are moving on to objects. This is a more general one. There are lots here, so pay attention. Number 10 is to fit like a glove, to fit like a glove. This is used to describe something that fits someone really well. If you put on a dress or a coat and it just feels like it's made for you, it fits like a glove, it fits beautifully. An example, wow, these shoes are the best I've ever worn, they fit like a glove. I actually have a joke for you that is technically quite rude, but I'm sure I can tell it in a way that you'll understand and I wonder if you'll find it funny. Did you hear about the man who had five ooh, aubergine emojis? <laughs> Did you hear about the man who had five aubergine emojis? <laughs> His underwear fit him like a glove. <laughs> Get it? If you don't get it, comment in the comment section and I'm sure someone will explain it for you. Number 11 is as fit as a fiddle. As fit as a fiddle. You'll often find that these similes, these really common similes, roll off the tongue and roll off the lips really beautifully. As fit as a fiddle. And this means really fit or healthy. Someone who is in great health. My grandmother may be in her 80s, but she's as fit as a fiddle. She's really in great health. My lovely grandma is in great health and she does use this term a lot. It's quite a traditional term. I ask her how she is. She says, oh, I'm as fit as a fiddle, Lucy. <laughs> Number 12, I love this one. It is as dead as a doornail, as dead as a doornail. And this means dead, completely dead, lifeless. I tried to save the mouse from the cat, but it was as dead as a doornail. It was completely dead. We can also use this to describe plants. My rose bush is as dead as a doornail, for example. Number 13, this one is incredibly common. It is as clean as a whistle, as clean as a whistle. It's used to describe something that is very clean. It can be used to describe clean objects, as in they're not dirty, or very clear sounds. I heard that as clean as a whistle. If a sound is clear, you might hear people say it's clean, very clean sound, as clear as a whistle, as clean as a whistle. An example, I had the oven cleaned yesterday and now it's as clean as a whistle. 
Did you notice I say I had the oven cleaned? That implies that I hired someone to clean it for me. Just like when I go to the hairdressers, I don't say I cut my hair. I say I have my hair cut. I hire someone to cut my hair for me, to do a service for me. Number 14 is as clear as crystal, as clear as crystal. And this is used when something is very clear, very easy to understand. You will often hear people saying crystal clear. That was crystal clear. Or sometimes you'll hear people say, was that clear? And the other person can respond saying crystal. Was that clear? Crystal. I really like that. That's a really, really nice response. An example, her intentions were as clear as crystal, but still he missed all the warning signs. It was very obvious, very easy to understand what she intended to do, but still he didn't cotton on. To cotton on, that's a slang phrase, to become aware of something. Number 15, we have the complete opposite, as clear as mud as clear as mud. I love this phrase, it's really funny. If something is as clear as mud, it's not very clear at all. It's very difficult to understand. We often use it when people give bad instructions. We love sarcastic humour in the UK. It's a big part of the way we interact, so as clear as mud is a perfect phrase for us. Can you explain what we're meant to be doing? Her instructions were as clear as mud. Not very clear at all. I don't understand. Number 16 is as pale as a ghost, as pale as a ghost. You can also say as white as a ghost, and that would work, or as white as a sheet. This is used to describe the appearance of fear, if someone looks very, very scared, or if they look unwell, you know, when you're, you go pale, when you feel sick or generally ill. An example, the turbulence on the aeroplane caused Sandra to turn as pale as a ghost. Number 17 is to sleep like a log, to sleep like a log. And this means to sleep very well. Obviously, a log is on the floor, it doesn't move, it remains in the same position, just like you when you have a great night's sleep. When you're staying at someone's house and they ask you, how did you sleep? You can say, like a log, like a log. I remember I tried to um, translate that into Spanish and I said I slept like a fallen tree and no one understood me. <laughs> An example, it doesn't matter where he is, he'll sleep like a log no matter what. And the last one, number 18, possibly my favourite. It's another sarcastic one. It is as useful as a chocolate teapot. As useful as a chocolate teapot. And can you think how useful a chocolate teapot would be? Not very useful. So we use this to describe someone or something that is useless. An example, I love my window cleaner, but he's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. He's broken three of my windows. Now we're moving on to four that can be used to describe people. The next one, number 19, is as sharp as a knife or as sharp as a razor. Both are fine, you'll be understood, but as sharp as a knife is more British. This is used to describe someone that is very quick and intelligent. You can't fool them, they're as sharp as a knife. It can also be used to describe something that is very sharp to the touch. Watch out, the broken glass on the floor is as sharp as a knife, as sharp as a razor. Or you can't fool him, he's as sharp as a knife. So we're talking about being sharp as in intelligence and sharp as in something that is prone to cut you. The next one, number 20, is one I used a lot in my teenage years. It was as fresh as a daisy. And this is when you wake up and you feel alive, enthusiastic and good. You've woken up full of energy and enthusiasm. And we often use this when we don't expect that someone will wake up full of energy, especially if they've had a heavy night the night before, if they've drunk a lot of alcohol normally. I went to a party last night, but I've woken up as fresh as a daisy. We can also use it in a sarcastic way. How are you? Fresh as a daisy, I imagine, when someone has obviously woken up not feeling full of energy and enthusiasm. An example, he is so annoying, he got so drunk last night and he's woken up as fresh as a daisy. Number 21, I love this one. It's hilarious. I don't know where it comes from. It's as happy as Larry. Who is Larry? I don't know, I'll have to research that. If you're as happy as Larry, God bless him, don't know who he is, it means you're very, very happy. 
An example, I saw him at the pub after he passed his driving test and he was as happy as Larry. He was over the moon, elated. Number 22 is as hard as nails, as hard as nails. It can also be as tough as nails. This is used to describe someone who is very tough or very strong or somebody who is a bit fearless. You wouldn't want to fight them. I wouldn't get on the wrong side of him. He's as hard as nails. He will fight you. And finally, I wouldn't be British if I didn't end this lesson by talking about the weather. I have three similes related to the weather. The first weather simile is number 23, as white as snow, as white as snow. And this means very pale, very white. It's a positive term. So when you're as pale as a ghost or as white as a sheet, it's not so positive. It's implying that something's wrong. But white as snow, we're using white in a good sense. You might have heard in the Snow White Disney film, they say her hair was as black as ebony and her skin as white as snow. It's more commonly used to describe beautiful white animals, like a nice fluffy white dog. Oh, she's as white as snow, so we're going to call her Snowy. Lots of um, white animals in the UK are called Snowy. <laughs> Number 24 is as quick as lightning or as fast as lightning. And this is used to describe something that is really quick, really fast. The taxi driver was as quick as lightning. We gave him a hefty tip. And the last one, number 25, is as right as rain, as right as rain. And this is used to describe someone who is in good health. Very similar to as fit as a fiddle, and it's also a more traditional one. You looked terrible yesterday, but now you're as right as rain. Right, that is it for today's lesson. You have learnt 25, more than 25, very British similes. I hope you enjoy using them. Don't forget to download the free PDF. I've got some exercise questions for you to complete. The link for that is in the description box. Don't forget to check out Lingoda. The link to get your free trial and your 30% discount is in the description box as well. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, I've got my Instagram, my personal one, Lucy, my English page, English with Lucy. I've also got my website englishwithlucy.co.uk and on there I have got an awesome interactive pronunciation tool so you can click on the phonemes and hear me say those phonemes and say words that contain those phonemes. It's awesome. Finally, you can check out my personal channel, Lucy Bella, where we vlog our lives here in the English countryside and all of the vlogs are fully subtitled so you can use them for vocabulary practice and to improve your listening skills. I will see you soon for another lesson. Bye.